Okay, so when you're creating a Windows service and you want to test your service, then you get this cannot start service from command line or debugger, right? So what's happening is uh, Visual Studio want to make sure your service is installed when it calls this stuff. So you can put a break. You can, you can put a breakpoint right here. So I can put a very current right here. So when I run it, see when you do the create a new service here, and you step through F11, initialize. When it runs it, right. So what you can do is your implementation is in the service right here, right. And it calls service one, and then it does all this stuff on start. So my uh, tests, I create some temp files inside of my C drive here. So how do what if I want to test this implementation? Like want to get it here. So there's a trick I saw on another video that uh, they did was they put a if statement right here. So we go if stop running so if debug then run if it's in debug mode then run something else right so go else then Right, so only if it's not in debug mode, we want to fire this service. Okay, so well, how do we get it in here so we can test the implementation of service one here? So again, we want to do on start, right? So what I did was create a, a method here called on debug, and then it calls on start. So it's easy as that. So we don't go through the whole service load cycle there. So I'm just going to instantiate a new service one equals uh, service one service equals the new service one. All right. And then I will call uh, service dot on debug. Right. And that's it. So now, when I run this, so now when I run this, I go F11. So it initiates the service class. And then now it's going to call on debug. And guess what? On debugs calls on start. And then it's going to run through this implementation. All right. So when you push this to production, it's going to call on start anyways. So this implementation gets, you can step through this now. All right.